Hey, what's going on guys? Joe here coming at you today from Town Hall 12 and we are over in Art of War taking a look at some of their amazing hog rider attacks. I say again, hog riders. There's 44 in this first composition and then there's two attacks after that with about 40 some hog riders. So hog riders swarming Town Hall 12 in the right conditions and after speaking with the attackers themselves, in reality, all you're looking for is the Town Hall and the Barbarian King close, an, access, an accessible Town Hall and a Barbarian King being taken out. And then it really just opens it up for getting rid of the Clan Castle troops and sending in the massive swarm of hogs. So as we look at this army, you got 44 hog riders and then you got some filler troops with giants to you know distract some defenses for the heroes and then some balloons. And then you got a stone slammer that houses ice golems. And then you got the heroes four heal spells, two skeleton spells for the Archer Queen, two poison spells for the Clan Castle troops, and let's just go ahead and get into what happens here. That way we can kind of predetermine how this video is going to go. So we have a wizard drop on an army camp, and you have a barbarian king. The wizard is going to clear out that camp to send that king up towards the town hall. You're also going to notice that there's a few archers working on an elixir pump over there in the eastern corner. And that king is going to get up into the town hall and previous to its engagement, his ability is going to be used since he draws the attention from the other barbarian king. Queen is going to lock onto the king and then her ability is going to be used because she's being targeted by four different defenses here. She's going to take out a cannon, a air defense, archer tower, and then a giant is going to distract the next cannon. Next, you're going to see the stone slammer move in from the northeastern side into an archer tower. You're going to see a pair of balloons move into the next archer tower as it gets pushed away by a sweeper. Clan castle troops are going to be engaged and then you're going to see the poison spells dropped on those while the stone slammer works on a bomb tower a inferno tower and then it's going to retarget and move down towards this wizard tower now you're going to see most of the hogs drop minus six and the grand warden and let's take a look at what you got going on up here in the north with all these defenses that are aligned you got perfect pathing for defenses and point defenses and the mortars and they're going to basically path down into the archer queen's location as well as the Eagle Artillery. You have two additional Inferno Towers set to single target mode, and you got plenty of heal spells to get the job done, as well as a freeze. So as those hogs move through, you're going to see a giant dropped and a wizard on that Archer Tower over there to try to keep the hogs on path inside the base. As they move into the next compartment, you're going to see the two skeleton spells dropped on the Queen's location and the Grand Warden's ability at the same time as they move through a giant bomb. And then they're going to continue to progress into the Eagle Artillery, taking it down. And then you're going to see the final six hogs dropped on this archer tower over here in the west. And what this is going to do is direct our hogs down towards the inferno tower in that L-shaped combination like you see in previous lower town hall attacks. So heal spells are going to be dropped carrying those hogs down through the rest of this base. There was an ice golem over there that freezes up that inferno tower and gives our hogs plenty of time. Another heal spell dropped. You still have one heal spell in the composition as well as a freeze spell so as the hogs move up into the wizard tower you're going to see a free spell dropped in the location to shut down that expo as well as that inferno tower and it gives our hogs plenty of time to get the job done now on the back end of the attack you did have some goblins you got some archers you got some wizards you got a balloon and there's a miner single miner running around and they are clearing out the trash ring buildings and the hogs are in there taking down the high hit point structures in the gold storage and the elixir storages just outstanding beautiful beautiful attack and we got two more of these i i love it so let me go ahead and speed it up for you to see this army composition yet again and then we are going to get into the next attack okay so our next attack is going to be adjusted slightly on that army composition there's 41 hog riders in our composition this time around with some minor adjustments with uh, some balloons you got some giants again you got a single bowler in there you'll see what he's for in a second and it's going to be addressed about the same exact way with the town hall being just moved in slightly a few layers in the compartment you're going to be able to access the barbarian king as well as the enemy clan castle troops which is what your poison spells are for and so we are going to basically focus our attention down here in the southwestern side of the base with a pair of balloons going in on a cannon and then you'll notice that bowler over there getting a double bounce over two different tiles hitting that elixir pump as well as a mortar so we're setting up to move our barbarian king
everything inside the base. Now this composition does have some wall breakers in there because we do have to crack into this location and get rid of that town hall. That's the point, that's the intent here. So we got a nice wide funnel that King is going to redirect and a scout is going to be sent in for a wall breaker. Then your main group of wall breakers are gonna move in once the King's ability is going to be used and then the King's gonna retarget, move up into the Grand Warden altar and then the King's altar. Queen is going to be dropped after the king gets inside the base, pulling the clan castle troops, and then you're going to see the queen lock on to the town hall. Poison spells are going to be dropped, as well as a freeze spell to lock those troops in place and allow this queen to take down the town hall. Once the queen is able to do so, her ability will be used, and then she will take down that electro dragon and balloons, and then from there, we can pretty much move into the hog rider portion after the queen takes out a few additional defenses. So she's going to move down through this compartment, taking down a wizard tower and move over into an archer tower. Uh, Ice Golem is going to be dropped and then you're going to have a group of hogs dropped over there in that location where there was a bomb tower and an inferno tower. You will also see a stone slammer or correction, a wall wrecker dropped moving into the next location where the second inferno tower is at and then the rest of the hogs are going to be joining them. As they approach the queen's location, there will be a skeleton or two skeleton spells dropped to take care of the queen and the grand warden is backing them up. Heal spells dropped as these hogs move through the uh, expo and the Grand Warden's ability will be used as they move into a location where there's a Wizard Tower, Air Defense, and that final Inferno Tower. Now, there is a hidden Tesla farm down there in the south, so we're going to drop a heal spell to beef up or heal our Hog Riders, and they're going to take out an Air Defense and then move down into the final uh, hidden Teslas. All four of them are down there. We got four of those and a Multi Mortar. They're going to take them down with ease, and it looks like all we have left is clean up with some Archers on the back end, uh, wizards over there working on an elixir collector again i mean it's it's really kind of set in stone at this point take down the town hall and the barbarian king with your heroes and a few additional troops to do some funneling over there if you can get rid of the clan castle troops great in the next attack the e-drag does not go down but the skeleton spell does provide plenty of time for the hawks to clear out the base while the e-drag is targeting those let's just go ahead and get into it guys in this final attack we will have some minor issues with clan castle troops like mentioned before but the targets are exactly the same with the town hall and the barbarian king and as you see they're located in the same location barbarian king is going to be dropped and a hog rider is going to go in and assist this barbarian king you're going to see a wizard dropped over there on the siege machine workshop hog rider is going to sneak in and take out that hidden tesla and then you're going to see a baby dragon dropped over here on an army king and the, the idea here is to funnel into the base get in there take down the town hall and you have wall breakers in the composition so a giant bomb is going to be revealed and you will see another hidden tesla uh, identified queen is going to be dropped the king is cracked in the wall breaker is going to be dropped and that queen is going to go in uh, king on king action queen is moving in she's going to take out an archer tower and then assist with the barbarian king town hall is engaged it's activated, the queen is going to lock on to that town hall, and then her ability is gonna to have to be used. Freeze spell is going to freeze that town hall as well as the expo, but we've lost a lot of health on this queen. She's gonna take down that expo, and in the process, the clan castle is going to be pulled, and we're gonna have an electro dragon and a baby dragon that comes out of it, and unfortunately, just not enough health on this queen to continue with the clan castle troops and take them down. So you'll see a bulk, actually all of our hogs dropped up in the northern point of the base and they're going to move through and notice that the clan castle troops are still in the air, but the poison spells will be dropped, heal spell dropped for the hogs as they move through this channel. And you will notice that this channel of defenses or walls just it houses a line a path for the hogs to continue to move down through this base you got expos you got mortar wizard tower you got another inferno tower here i mean you got some minor deterrence over here with the archer towers you'll see how our attacker addresses that as the hogs move through again the same thing with the skeleton spell drop to take care of the archer queen she is targeting the hogs the grand warden's ability is going to be used as the hogs move into a double giant bomb location where the air sweeper was and you'll see how the hogs get a little bit of a split here you got some that went over to a bomb tower and now they're targeting 
the Eagle Artillery, and then you will notice the rest of Morovi here on the Expos and the Inferno Tower. Now, there will be a wall wrecker in this composition, and it will come through, and it also does have Hog Riders in it as well. So there will be a group that will join them from that wall wrecker. There's heal spells dropped over there. The Grand Warden is taking or drawing the attention of that Electro Dragon, so it's keeping the E-Drag busy as the Hogs kind of do a little bit of rebounding, trying to, you know, kind of backtrack and pick up some of the defenses that were missed but they have finally made it down to the final compartment down here in the south and we still have one more heal spell available for those hogs so the hogs are being chased by skeleton traps they are going to take down that inferno tower and then that final heal spell will be dropped but you will notice at the same time the e-drag has been distracted by the grand warden throughout the most of the attack and now it is distracted on skeletons and the skeleton spell with the skellies with the armor really provides it just makes the skeleton spell a lot more useful than what it was before. They have a little, you know, they have the armor on them now, and they can take a little bit more damage than what they could be taken before. And they're also helping with some of the cleanup. So you got hogs moving around, taking down some mines, and you have wizards over there, and you got some over in the east. And again, just another beautiful attack by this team over here in Art of War. If you are interested as a Town Hall 12, this is this clan is going all Town Hall 12, if I remember correctly. I know they are recruiting Town Hall 12. This is the art of war that is known from the CWL and, done, and known from NDL and a lot of the higher league clans. So uh, they're doing some awesome work over here and doing some recruiting in the meantime. This is going to wrap, wrap me up for today, guys. We this just I'm, I'm tongue tied by the awesome content that was presented today, guys. This is me doing my best to help you suck less. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and thanks for watching, guys. Hashtag buy Team Joe. Who said that? Brotherhood. That's messed up. Are you getting pressure? Are you getting pressured into this? What? I don't know. <laughs> Bug says that's good progress. <laughs> <laughs> so are you farming a little bit, or are you doing friendly challenges? I'm trying to do friendly challenges, but every time.